how you heard the news that Pearl Harbor had been bombed. And tell, walk me through that Monday morning. Well, <clears throat> it was, uh, wasn't until noon that, uh, of that day that we actually heard the, 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 the news about the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Um, the, Paul and I, we were there by ourselves at, at, with my mother at the house that day, and we were out fooling around, playing, doing whatever we were going to do. Had the dog with us most of the time, or the monkey. And uh, so when we went in to lunch is when we sat down and we were having sandwiches and iced tea and whatever, and the radio was on. And uh, uh, Don Bell with the news of the day was where I, how we heard the attack on Pearl Harbor. And he started talking about it and, and telling about what was happening and so on and so forth and how many ships were uh, damaged and sunk and so on and so forth. And then he said something that really caught all of our minds. And he said, uh, Bob Tesey was the first American civilian casualty in Honolulu when he stepped out of his office at the airport to see what these airplanes were that were coming over. And a 50 caliber or 30 caliber bullet went right through his neck and he fell back into his wife's arms. His wife was a nurse. And when they said that, it dawned on my mother first, they're talking about Bob Tice, not TC, but see, to get into uh, different pronunciations of, of words uh, in the Philippine language, the Spanish language, and the American language. Uh, Avenue was Avenida, and so on and so forth. So that's what he was saying, and he was reading it with a Filipino language in his head. Bob Tisi instead of Bob Tice. And that was KT Flying Service, uh, Knox and Tice, and very close family friends of ours. Even us, the children, knew him well. And, you know, it just, it was a big shock to us at that. And that's when it really came home to the three of us, my mother, Paul, and myself, was this is dangerous. I mean, if Bob Tice got killed, what are they doing there? And then we started really listening to the broadcast where they were talking about the battleships and the, all of these things that were uh, sunk and destroyed and damaged and so on. And it was just a, a question of time as to uh, when yeah, they would... Oh boy. <laughs>